What's up everyone? We're here at Pigeon Forge Snow, indoor snow tubing. So let's go inside and check this out. Daddy Gville's World. What's up everyone? Welcome to Daddy Gville's World. This was our first time to Pigeon Forge Snow and this is our personal review. Pigeon Forge Snow is in a 35,000 square foot building. We heard about it from the friends we went with. So like many people, I started looking it up before we went. What I found was super cool. Indoor sledding with single and double tubes. Indoor play area where you can build snowmen, make snow angels, and more. Which was great for us because the day we went was 90 plus degrees. So we knew it was going to be nice and cool inside. Now we had some little ones with us. So we knew some might not be able to do it. The height and age requirements is 38 inches tall and 3 years old for downhill tubing. The rest is for everyone of any age and height. Individually, snow tubing is $21.99 for an hour, and snow play is $7.99 for 30 minutes. Adding them both together, after tax, you save around $3. That's what I wanted to do, since saying we have four kids, and it saves like 12 bucks. But my girlfriend said, No. Honestly, I'm kind of glad she didn't listen to me this time, because most of the stuff I read, you couldn't even do. Now when we went, the 799 play area was recently changed and now has a carousel hooked up to snow tubes for the small children. No more play area, which was kind of disappointing, but hey, it was great for the little ones who wanted to be like the big kids. Also for us parents who just want to try it out once or just get footage and photos, they sell single rides for $5. So if you have them on here, but all you do is you have to show them down there. Okay. I use one, you have another one. Also, the double tubes were nowhere in sight. Was told they're no longer available. Also why there, we found out the snow is real, not a synthetic material. It's made from water, ice shavings. All in all, everyone had a great time. Other than we had one have his tube flip on him, knocking his tooth loose at the end of the track. But he's okay, he's one strong little boy. So I would say it's a ride at your own risk. But we will return we loved it. It's hated. It was time to go. Now, let's finish the tour.
subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss a video.